Hello and welcome to Espresso Patronum. Today I'm going to explain why Crookshanks, Hermione's cat, could actually be the Potter's pet before Lily and James' death. It is confirmed that the Potters had a cat because in the Deathly Hallows, Harry finds a letter which Lily wrote to Sirius and Lily wrote that Harry nearly killed their cat while flying on his first broomstick which Sirius actually gave him. Then, in the prison of Azkaban, the lady in the pet star said that Crookshanks has been there for quite a while, which could be 12 years, because Harry's parents died 12 years before the prison of Azkaban. Soon after Crookshanks was bought by Hermione, he quickly recognizes Scavers and then the shaggy dog, which is serious, as Peter... Um, yeah, um, and Scavers as Peter. Crookshanks could have recognized both of them because he, they both would have frequently visited Lily and James when he when Crookshanks was with them. And, and of course, they sometimes turn into their animagus forms because why not? Of course, it also could be the power of Crookshanks, because he's half Nizo, which are magical cats who recognize unworthy people and animals. And I also found something interesting while looking for information on this topic. Well, this is not really this topic, but yeah. It was that Lily was actually pregnant when Voldemort killed her. Even worse, she had finally talked to James and made, made him and Snape have peace and even wanted to make Snape the child's godfather so Voldemort just waited a few months before wanting to kill Harry. Harry would have a sibling and Snape might not hate Harry as much because of his brother. Anyways, let's get back to our theory. You might ask, how did Crookshanks get into the pet star? I don't think that at Godric's Hollow is close to there. Well, I have two theories for that. The first one is Hagrid took Crookshanks to Diagon Alley before he took Harry to the Dursleys. Because why did he take so long to come? Of course he could still look for Harry, but I don't think it would have taken them very long. The second theory is that Snape took the cat with him. I think he would have kept Crookshanks because he loved Lily a lot, but because of Hagrid and some other kids or teachers who might have been allergic to cats, he couldn't keep it. I know that McGonagall is also a cat, but she could transform herself and I bet she would always clean up after her. So Snape brought Crookshanks to the pet store and hoped he would come in good hands. What she did. Well, that was everything I could find on this topic. I know this video is not very long, but I thought this topic was very interesting. And my friend actually he had that idea. So, oh, J.K. Rowling did not confirm anything about that, but also did not de de decline it. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and the next video will be uploaded in two days. Goodbye!